Lesson 9.7, Measure and Compare Lengths in Centimeters. We can find the difference between the lengths of two objects by measuring to find the length of each object. Then we write a subtraction equation to find the difference between the two lengths. So for a quick review, to measure, we line up the left side of the object. We're measuring the orange line. We line up the left side of the orange line with the zero mark on the ruler. Then we look at the centimeter mark that is nearest to the right side of the object. It's at five, so we know the orange line is five centimeters in length. It's five centimeters long. To compare the length of the paintbrush and the drawing of the pencil, we take our centimeter ruler, and if you look, mine goes up to 15 centimeters. So we might have to use it more than once. We line up the zero mark on this side of the paintbrush, and I put a little dot for 15 centimeters. I'm going to have to use the ruler again. We slide it over. We line up the zero mark with our little 15 centimeter mark, and we can see there's three more centimeters. So that's 15 and three more. That's 15, 16, 17, 18. We know the paintbrush is 18 centimeters. We measure the pencil drawing. We line up zero with the tip here. We look over here and see it's at 12. It's 12 centimeters. We do 18 centimeters minus the 12 centimeters. That's six centimeters difference. We know the paintbrush is six centimeters longer than the pencil. We can say the paintbrush is six centimeters longer than the pencil. We can also say the pencil is six centimeters shorter than the paintbrush. Here we need to find how much longer is the green line than the yellow line. We think we need to measure each line first then we can write a subtraction equation to find the difference. We line up the zero mark with the edge of the green line. And because my ruler only goes to 15 centimeters, I put a little dot there. I'm gonna have to use my ruler more than once. This is 15 centimeters. We slide it over, line it up with the zero mark. With our little dot, that's 15 centimeters and one more. That means the green line is 16 centimeters. Now we need to measure the yellow line. We line up the edge of the ruler with the zero mark right here, and it's at 13 centimeters. To find the difference between them, we do 16 minus 13. Do you know how much that is? We can start at 13 and count on to 16. 13, 14, 15, 16. That's three. We know that the green line is three centimeters longer than the yellow line. Here it's telling us to measure the length of each object. Complete the number sentence. That's the equation to find the difference between the lengths. We have an orange line and a blue line. We line up our ruler with the zero mark on the left side of the object. And if you look closely, I know the numbers are small. It's 11 centimeters. Let's get closer. Now we can measure the blue line. We line up our ruler with zero right here. And we see it's at 14 centimeters. We need to subtract to find the difference between the two lengths. We use the greater number 14 as the minuen. We use the lesser number 11 as the subtrahen. Do you know what 14 minus 11 is equal to? Again, we can start at 11 and count on to 14. 11, 12, 13, 14. We have three centimeters difference, which means the blue line is three centimeters longer than the orange line. 
Here we have an orange line that I measured at six centimeters, a green line I measured as nine centimeters, and a purple line I measured is 22 centimeters. This green line is longer than the orange line. And this purple line is longer than the green line. It's also longer than the orange one, isn't it? And this purple line is the longest. To find the difference between the green and orange line, we subtract nine minus six. Nine centimeters minus six centimeters is three centimeters. We know the green line is three centimeters longer than the orange line. To compare the purple line to the orange line and the green line, we do the 22 centimeters minus the six centimeters for the orange line, and that's 16 centimeters. So we know it's 16 centimeters longer than the orange line. And to compare the purple line to the green line, now we have 22 centimeters and nine centimeters. I did 22 minus nine, that's equal to 13 centimeters. We know the purple line is 13 centimeters longer than the green line. When we measure an object, we will get an actual length, the real length. When we estimate, we're making a good guess that will be close to the actual length. I measured the pencil at 12 centimeters long. And I looked at the blue one and thought, well, if that's 12, this is about halfway, so it's about six centimeters long. But the actual length we can find by doing an actual measure. We take our centimeter ruler, we line up the left side with zero, and you can see it's actually seven centimeters. So our estimate of six centimeters was a good guess that was close to the actual length, but the actual length is seven centimeters. So remember that an estimate is just a good guess. It's not an actual real measure. Here we have a word problem that says, Sophia has a ribbon that is 25 centimeters long. She cuts nine centimeters off. What is the length of her ribbon now? So we think cuts off means it went away. So we subtract. We do 25 centimeters minus the nine that she cut off. When we look at the ones place, we have a five and we need to take nine away and we don't have enough in the minuend. So we're going to regroup. The two tens becomes one ten. The five ones becomes 15 ones. Now we do 15 minus nine, which is six. And we have one ten here that we drop down. So we know Sophia's ribbon is 16 centimeters now. Because it was cut off, it was taken away, we did subtraction to solve the problem. Here we have another word problem. It says Sarah's necklace is six centimeters longer than her bracelet. Her bracelet is 18 centimeters long. What is the length of Sarah's necklace? And we think it says the necklace is six centimeters longer than the bracelet. That means it's six longer than 18. So it's six more than 18. We can add 18 plus six. We have eight ones plus six ones. That's 14 ones. We regroup the 10 and put the four down. And we have one and one 10 makes two tens. That means Sarah's necklace is 24 centimeters long. We needed to add to solve this problem. We solved each problem in a different way. Because this had part of the ribbon cut off, we subtracted. Because this one said the necklace was six centimeters longer than 18, we had to add to solve it. If you have a centimeter ruler, you can look for things around you and measure them and compare their lengths in centimeters. Just remember to line up the object on the left side with the zero mark. Our next lesson is going to be in chapter 10, and it's all going to be about data and information. We're going to make tables and graphs. And I hope you join me. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.